welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, Game of Thrones mod. We are back as King Edric the Merciless of House Dustin, and we are at war with the Kingdom of Winterfell, a little Winter Queen Lyanna. Um, we are going for the claim of Torn Square for one of our bannermen, Joran Stout. So, I'm going to give him a little bit more power and give us another little little nook from their uh, supposed kingdom. It's not much of a kingdom anymore. Especially after we take that one. Uh, we'll be a little bit more full and together. Um, the Dreadfort is still standing strong. They haven't lost any uh, territory. They've actually gained uh, Seal Shore. Yeah, Seal Shore. Should I say that five times fast? Uh, they've gained that from Lord, uh, Last Hearth when they kind of broke up. Last Hearth in the beginning was was moving strong. They uh, took mo all of Skagers, gave them the High Lordship, and then they rebelled and just became independent. So now they're just High Lords of Skagers. Um, they're probably like one of the last things we take in. I might not even take them in. I might just let them do their own thing because they're beyond the wall old gods unless we uh, try to convert them. I can't wait. I really am going to push through this series. Probably put out a video or two a day just because I want to get over with so I can update my mod. And then because you can actually convert, I mean, um, reform religions and that'd be pretty cool to do as Northmen. Uh, since they don't have like a high uh, priest or a uh, high scepter, it'd be pretty cool to make like the Lord or the King of Winter being that. So the God King of Winter or something they I think it's called. But uh, we do have a Beyond the Wall old God. Um, I'm surprised this one actually passed to his son. I guess his son was good enough. His son has green dreams. I'm trying to get an offspring to get green dreams. It's kind of hard. Usually at the uh, they usually are born like we're like a mystic thing to them. A lot of the uh, beyond the wall people get it though. It's not that uncommon there. But it, I just like to have it. The events that come with it are pretty cool. I think you have to become a mystic or have green dreams is the choice. But he doesn't really have any men. I guess he's trying to take the other lands under his realm. Which looks like he's winning 80%. So it looks like he's going to have all the beyond the wall together. And he's young. He's only uh, 27, so he should be good. He is craven, though. I don't think they like that too much. What's he got in his treasury? Oh, he's got a weirwood bow. So I do want to make one of these weirwood weapons, but that went away for some reason. Like, some things just end up going away in my shit. I don't understand it. Like, the house words. Um, oh, yeah, and we are... I forgot. I just forgot all about that. Where did we get a weirwood spear from? Lady Becca of Wycombe. Hold on. Why can't I open the artifact history? Who's Lady Becca of Wycombe? I don't know how we got this. I don't. Let me see if I uh, equip it. No, we still can't open the history. I wonder why. All right. Um. Let's go back. Put our lamentation. So we are gonna uh, rename lamentation to Kingsbane. Um. I have to look up the subscriber again. I completely forgot off the top of my head. I have it written down, but I can't find it. Uh, I will go back into my comments and um, look and see who it is. So he said Kingsbane, which makes a lot of sense because we've been taking out a bunch of northern kings. So we are the Bane of Kings. So we're going to go and do that Kingsbane. So now we have our own little sword. We, I do need to maybe can go into the, uh, the files and go and change uh, the description that way. I'm pretty sure I can if I look into it. Uh, so yeah, we'll try to change this and make it like our own sword. Because I don't want to... I don't see us giving this up. Uh, the Weirwood Spear... Let me see, does my son have anything? Actually... No, he doesn't. So I could probably give him... Where is the uh, thing that grant like an heirloom or whatever? Isn't it on here? Mmm. I guess not. Let me see. Can I grant it to you? Nah. So I guess I can do it. I figured I'd be able to. I don't know where, yeah, where that came from, but it's cool to have, I guess. But I'd rather have a higher quality. Anyways, we're in a war with Winterfell. We're going to go ahead and finish this up. Like I said, we're going to be pumping out a lot of these uh, things. Matter of fact, I could look it up right now. I'm playing 
shouldn't take too long. But yeah, we got uh, the Archon of Valyrian, Son of Demons, doing du jour wars. We're just sieging down everything here. We got Torn Square, who just died. Uh, nobody we need to be worried about. Master Bellos of Fair Market has refused revocation of Fair Market. So, the Blackwoods just got that back. And now they're lo lost it again. What is this dude doing? Oh, he's helping him. Well, it looks like this guy's got shit cut out for him. He's not bad. He does got gonorrhea. Alright. I'll take one second and I can look for uh, this dude. Uh, one of my subscribers. Alright, here it is. Oh, yeah. Crazy Irish 209 is the person that came up with Kingsbane. So. Props to Crazy Irish 209 for that. And now we'll get back to the gameplay. Alrighty. So yeah, we got that. We're at 69. We're sieging down Winterfell. I didn't really want to siege it down. Um, we do have a problem though. We're getting very old. And um, this queen is very young. It was the reason why I didn't want to press this claim. But this guy that has the claim on this, I think is sick. Oh, he's depressed. I didn't want him to die and then lose the claim because the claim is looks like it's hereditary, so it should pay us on. But sometimes it doesn't work that way. All right, my dear friend, I wish to give you the honor of sending my child Marianne to you in Veriton and making her your ward. I can think of no none better to teach her and nurture her, a good woman. So we have our granddaughter. That's our son, right? Yeah, our drunk son. Yeah, his son turned out pretty good, Belgrave. So, when he takes over down here, we're going to give him Flint's Finger and then give him the High Lordship of that. I don't want to give it to his dad. His dad's a drunk and he's got all kinds of stuff going wrong. Illifer Woodsman has declared liberation of High Garden. Huh? How? No, he doesn't. That was like a. That was weird. There's no liberation. <laughs> he built his men up really quick. I was going to go after him. Glad I didn't. Alright, let's move over here. These guys are still in retreat. So, they're probably going to go all the way up to North Road. Oh no, he's turning around. That, that quick. We are a great master of the martial prowess. Every time we get a kid, we automatically soup him up to a, a good fighter. We become exalted among men. Good. Still no bloodline, which is pissing me off. Um, let's see. I guess we'll just win the war real quick, get the extra prestige. Uh, we don't have enough men to siege that. How about down here? Yeah, there's enough to do that one. Castle Kerr one, it's not enough. Alright. Probably when they come down, we'll hit them. We still need to occupy a good amount of stuff. They're gonna go back to Torn, so let's go pick them off. That's the war score. Alright. I'm at court position, so we need a new maester. We don't have one. Send for a new maester. 20 gold? I thought it was like 8. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a high enough stewardship where you can make a bank. That'd be a good way to make some loot. Alright, hopefully we get a decent one. Who can we arrest? What are you trying to do here? Fabricate evidence on Lord Gaston's treason. Huh. Alright. Who is leading this? Uh, Maester sent from the Citadel. Oh, wow, he's pretty good. And he's a renowned physician. Not too often you get that. Alright. Good job. He's a tutor, right? Alright, good. I know in the original one, when you put the, uh, position it doesn't automatically make him the tutor but that was a quick war I think the dude died it was that it was a different guy it was older that uh had fair market we're almost done with winter how do we get winter over done or maybe just battle I kind of wanted to battle first because I don't want this to get messed up shit it's not enough all right we won the battle we might as well just sit there Yes, as soon as this is done, we'll be done. Lord Belgrave Hunter usurped the title of R Minor. What is it, Andal? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, as a matter of fact, let's bring these guys. Well, that'll be our land, so we can just stay there. Alright. 
We're almost there. And there you go. 100%. Oh, okay. oh what is... Whoa, the Dreadfort is... Oh, they're taking Skagos. Looks like some people are helping him, though. He's not call, trying to call us in, which is hilarious. He has Winterfell's helping them, and they can't help themselves. Master Arthur of Cobble Cover, or Cover, or whatever the hell that is. King Tomard of Will Willowwood, which has no men. And Lord Garibel of the Paps, which is that little John right there. How many men do you have? <laughs> 482. He never has more than 1,000. It's a great king. Has no men. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, end this. Boom. So now Winterfell is just a smidgen of itself, former glory. All right, let's take him, bring them down. We got ambition. I'm really pissed about the bloodline thing. All right. Um, I guess we could fall in love. We're not going to tame a dragon. Definitely, I don't see the realm prosper. But then again, we probably could go five years without war because of the fact that. Hold on, how much longer do we have? To, I gotta uh, drop them in first. We'll drop them and see how long of truce we have with them. Because we can get Crow's Baron or uh, Scorch Veil. Vale, because uh, one of them has a claim on it. I do want to kind of take a uh, good amount of this coastline here. I would like to get down to like the, the rock, maybe take out Old Stone. I could see us getting a blood feud with them because we've been going at them left and right. I think it was like the second or third war we've had with them the last time we did. All right, let's look at uh, Strong Song. Strong Song, we have a truce for another year, a little more than a year. Oh shit, that guy must not, he must have died. Hold on. This guy is of the bite. Yeah, he, the other guy died, I guess. Somebody had a, uh, a claim on that. Damn it. Uh, what about you? I don't know if I don't want to take them over. They had that ladies of the wave bullshit going on. Nobody has a claim on his lands. Somebody will eventually probably get a claim on some of these lands that they border. Uh, let me see. Oh! We can get Wycombe. Get a little further down into the Riverlands. So that'd be good. Oh, I don't think the Dreadport likes us anymore. <laughs> That's my daughter is lunatic and stressed. He locked her up at one point. He's giving her a lot of kids, but no. Oh my God, he has no male heir. She's matrilineally married to Joseph. And then the Reeds are going to lose their land because this asshole here has two daughters. He marries the first one, regular marriage, and the second one, matrilineal it should have went the other way i would have probably did both of them matrilineal just to be safe now she has two sons that are of the cross fort that are in one two in line for the high lordship of the neck so he's screwed or she screwed um i don't know if i don't think i had the rule off so they could change their uh lineage or whatever i think i hate that shit um i guess it's a chop fall you know just put this to hell with it I really don't want to go five years without going to war. It sucks we can't just grab them up real quick. But anyways, I wonder if he's gonna call me in. I'm pretty sure he will. See how many people join into his war. Where are his men at? They must still be coming together unless they're up in Skagos already. I don't see the little uh, siege things. See it. Skagos has nothing compared to him. He's got 200 men. So, it'd been different if they had a little more men. Oh, she died. Somebody killed her. So now there's King Dudley. <laughs> he's matrilineally... Oh, he's matrilineally... But oh, it doesn't matter. They're both umbers. About to say. And the asshole move. Um, Manisic Oakheart and Brennan. Brennan's our nephew. He's a uh, Joffrey's kid. He's nothing special. And she's the oak heart. Yeah, that's right. So that way, that's how we got the claim with this old chap. Alright. Is she still wanting to kill him? She doesn't like us enough to do it. No. Alright. Nobody's trying to kill us. Which is good. 
He accepts, of course. Since we got a little bit of money. Oh, yeah, so the one dilemma we're going to have is uh, we're getting rather old. And unless somebody tries to kill her, which there are a decent amount of Starks that are adults. Um, is there any that are, like, devious at all? Uh, he's envious. That's not really... He's in the Night's Watch. Uh, she's deceitful. She's matrilineally married, and she has a son and two daughters. This one is a regular marriage, but he'll go in front. He's the one that's uh, matrilineally married to the queen, so he actually could take her and be king if she was to do something. Let's see how many people actually have claims on the north. So she is one of them. So maybe she'll pull some out since she's devious. Uh, let's see the high lordship. Nobody has a claim on that. Alright, we'll see, maybe something will happen. But anyways, if we get the claim on this, which our guy's been there for I don't know how long. Uh, if we get the claim on that, we're going to have to, one, pay a good amount of money. Two, we can't go back to war with her until the truce is up, which is going to be ten years. It's like nine now, but still, like, I don't think it'll last that long. So I'm thinking about maybe... Shit, you can't. I wonder if you can abdicate when the event comes up. So I can abdicate and go to the Night's Watch and become my heir. Which I kind of hope he died. It's been a, he's been long enough because he's really good. Especially, like, he's got great learning, great intrigue. Nobody's gonna end up killing him. Uh, let's see, who's this? Our priest, our friend priest, not giving you land. That's we get money. So we got some extra money. Let's go ahead and build something. Um. I guess we could build another castle town to get up our income. Especially if I give up Flint's Finger, we're gonna need it. Uh, castle Shipyard needs the castle town to be built first. So let's go and do that. And then we're. Oh, man, I, I, it's gonna take so long to get that much money. We were only at 500 and it took that long to get to that. I really wanna build this holding before we get booming. Uh, Bear King Edger, great melee in northern traditions being held in Bear Isle. Alright, we'll go. And last hurrah in our old age. What is this? See, Ron Prosper. Um, it'd be great if we can get another level of fear up. I really like the uh, extra bonus you get against uh, plot power defense. The early stages of the melee were chaotic and frenzied, and left fields trampled and villages half torn down. Many have been forced to lead the battle either by injury or defeat, many at your hand. Now you stand among the remaining warriors and begin the final melee. We're always among the final warriors, and then we get our ass kicked by some asshole. Alright, he's a duelist. He might get, we have our Valerian still sword. And we have our armor, right? Yeah. One mistake is all he'll get. I really want to poison the blade, but I have a feeling we'll get caught and then we'll be- Oh, our tyrant went away. I didn't even notice. Good. Oh, what's up with our heir? Heir's heir. Nice. He got great eminence. We already know he was a formidable fight. He got duelist. That's awesome. I don't really care for selfish, but it doesn't really bother you. I mean, it's only against your dynasty, but who cares what they think. Uh, he's wounded. So is his wife. They got a little blood on their head. I wonder if they were fighting each other. Um, she's actually the spy master, Mer Kalen. Wow. That's really good. That's, that's better than I thought it would turn out. His marshal is amazing for not being his focus. It'll actually get a 19 after the wounded goes away. And then his diplomacy is great. So if he becomes uh, the, the ruler, he'll be able to put like carousing or family focus and get even higher. He actually got inspiring leader, even though he's not marginal focused. That's pretty good. He'd still be a good leader, even though he's not um, marginal focused. Willem Snow. Man, he's pretty good. He'll probably get me. I seem to just go at speed. Every time I go at force, I end up uh, getting my ass kicked. So we're just going to stay with speed the whole time. Alright, we defeated Willem. That was a quick duel. It was only like two matches, wasn't it? Oh well. Got ten gold. Anything we spent money on. 
I'm really hesitant though if we get this claim to even take it. Because it, will he last another 10 years? 9 years? Even 5? See, the thing is, if that event comes up, I wonder if I hit abdicate. Will that go in effect, put him as ruler, and then give the claim to whoever t my heir that takes over? I'm wondering if you hit this, does it automatically happen? Or do you have to wait, like, you know, when you ask somebody for something and says you have to wait a couple days for their results or for them to answer or whatever? So we'll see if it's one of those things. Hopefully it is, and I can just get around that. Because <laughs> I would hate to get this claim and then not be able to waste the money or not be able to use it. Oh, she has a claim on Barrowton. Hold on a second. I could have swore. Oh no! All right, I'm thinking of somebody else. It was up here. All right. Um, who has a claim on their shit? Any people other than Umbers? No. All right. Oh, he's declared war on Y for Ycom. I don't even have to do it. So now he's doing it on his own. He should be okay. I wonder if we can offer. We could help him, and then we'll just take over the war. So let's see what happens. I think we're. At one point, we were able to get a non-aggression with him. Let's see if anybody comes to join uh, Willowwood. If they don't, I think I'll just let him deal with it himself. He has enough men. Hopefully, he doesn't get captured because he is leading troops. Prince Harry of the Barrowlands provide me proof that he's been viciously slandering me. My friend, that I just got you extra land. Doesn't look like he's slandering anything, so we'll just keep it to ourselves for now. How's the faction look? We got a nice little pack of leech loyalists. A lot of hundreds there. Uh, let me see. He's trying to take over Norvos. Let's check this out. Yeah, it looks like he's alright. I mean, if he can't handle that, he's got a problem. We could actually join it and then raise Greywater Watchmen. And just helping that way. I think they're pretty much going to be... Where's Greywater Watch? They're not even up there. Oh, the neck. There it is. Lady Arsa. Alright. King Axel of the Reach is declared King Axel Blood Feud. See, this is the thing with them. They got Blood Feuds with everybody because of that last dude. From raiding and shit. Nobody's raided us since he's been, so... And the Reach might... I don't know. The Reach was looking really slim last time. Alright. They got a little more men back. If they were to stay down here and let the Iron Isles come down and then just siege down all this shit, they wouldn't even have to go up here. Duncan of Bywater has had songs of the drowned men sing. Drunk, songs the drowned men sing added to his treasury. Why and how? Doesn't do nothing to give you an opinion with them. This is the one I want. Lineages and histories. It gives you a fabrication, uh, fabrication claim speed extra 10%, which is a lot. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. Why? Oh, he's up in this war. That was pretty smart of him. All his men are up here. Or were up here helping them take Skagos. And they did it. So they got Skagos now. Your drift war is big. Who's this? Run it. Uh, responding very well to my tuition is improved your skills and advancing knowledge every day. So, Brennan has gotten two stewardship. That's good. Let me see how many men. He has 12,000 men to our... Yeah, we're a little better than he is. We have... We can get 500 more men of our own. Him, on the other hand, he can get almost another thousand. So, we're going to be pretty evenly matched. And if somebody gets involved... Turn the tides one way or the other. See, so yeah, see, he's sieging this down. He see, all right, he's got that. Pirates have been marauding in increasing numbers all along the coast of the Barrowlands recently. Worse, there is a rumor among the common folk that the pirates have been raided or aided by the Dreadfort. See, this might be the the, the time here where we're going to break our uh, thing. I must send a letter to the Dreadfort Red King to find out if so. Now, if we have a chance to break it, we're just going to break it because if we do it uh, manually, it gives you like a Minus 20 or some shit. What the hell is it? Not that, this one. Um, It's minus 10 general opinion. I don't really care of his opinion. Uh, who's this? Becca of Brentbrook. What are you good at? Hmm, I guess. Uh, what would be diplomatic? Let me see. 
get you a guardian. I'll just let, uh, I guess we'll let her. Yeah, let her do it. We'll see what he says. We could construct a flagship. I think we'll do that. Alright, I must say I do not approve of the tone of your last letter. Accusing others to try and obscure your own failings and keeping your realm safe. Only leaves you looking like a lecherous spider. Uh, we are not going to take something like that from him. Who are you? You fat ass. So, oh dear, I should try to repair this. No. You gorging filthy... <laughs> the gorging filthy is hiding somewhere. What? All right. He's probably going to break his alliance. But I think that's all it breaks. Damn, I should have broke the alliance. Alright, uh... Pair of Winter's coming again. You're the worst kind of scum to frame and then attack in such a vile way. Those who have been so loyal and steadfast towards you. You are a rapacious lecher, and I would not wish upon anyone the misfortune of making packs or agreements with you. So, pack broken. It's just the alliance, though, I think. Oh no, it is the old John R. Good. Oh, and just a claim on Wolf's Den. Could be a little tune up here. We had to keep them with their kingdom title. Like, they have to keep theirs. Because I have to make sure. Yeah, it took the whole thing. Good. I wanted to break it. I didn't want to wait till he died. Or he died. Because I'm not for certain if we would keep the non aggression because of him being her brother I'm not sure and we need to take a kingdom title hopefully because if we get the air takes over and we can get the CB for a kingdom we're definitely going to use it on the biggest one I mean it's pointless to use it on like last hearth or even Winterfell for that matter it could make it stretch out a little longer but I really don't want it to stretch out a little longer in a way Winterfell has a good amount of land and we would tie up everything west of the knife so, it'd be kind of cool, I guess, to have it like that. But, we can actually take Wolf's Den right now. This would be a good uh, tune-up war here to see what how things will, will pan out. He has no allies whatsoever. We were his only ally. So, we can get the Lordship of the Wolf's Den for her. What's this high Lordship here? I think he has it. Yeah. The De jour. So we, we would have two and he would have two. So we wouldn't be able to try to usurp it. That's the only thing that sucks. Let's watch out our uh, our vassal here. Let's check out what, how he's doing. Let's go to an uh, um, pause here. I think we'll save that one for the next one. Because I do think they're still... Re oh no, they're pretty much uh, all up now. How much would it cost to give you money? 15. 66. How much? Uh... I probably should just get some more troops out of her, but we'll wait until we need to. Let's go ahead and um make a flagship now that we have some boats. Did we fill up our boats yet? Alright, we're at nine, so we only have one left. Actually eight. Alright, let's do that. We're gonna make a flagship. It'll give us extra marshal on top of it. Construct the flagship. Yeah, I've ordered the construction of a new flagship for the Barrowlands fleet. Lord Megger Barrows is asking for your requirements so he can direct the shipbuilders. I forgot he's master of ships. <laughs> it's funny we had a master of ships with no ships. Um, we'll definitely do a, a big one. All of them give you Marshall except for the last one. So we'll definitely one size. Hopefully we won't regret spending that money. <laughs> Alright, um, man, I'd really love to have enough stewardship. We, it would take forever to get a thousand gold. We can't even get 900 to build that holding. Uh, I guess we could take out a loan if we got like close enough. All right. It wasn't until several weeks after the banquet I heard about it and wondered why I was not invited. Aren't Lord Megger and I friends? <laughs> I guess he had a uh, feast and didn't invite me. Maybe he forgot. We need to talk. <laughs> Best friends forever? Yeah, maybe he forgot. We'll just say that. Alright. Um, my liege, my network of spies here in King's Chorus have found out the local noble is homosexual. What should we do with this information? King's Chorus. Why does... Why do you... I care if you're... Where are you at? Ah, oh, he's never there. I think we were trying to kill somebody. Come back home. 
Um, blackmails for, yeah, just let it be. I don't know what it's about, and I don't want it to backfire on me. Alright, oh, he's got a thousand, how'd he get a thousand men? He must have bought men. He does have a decent amount of money. Um, I don't understand how this, alright, it's a 29%. He is taking his, uh, you know what, we're gonna help him out. Because I can see him screwing this up. But I think if we jump in, it'll probably put a lot more people into it. Let me see, how many men can I give her? 2,000. I already gave her money, so I can't get any more. His men, I could raise. Ooh. And we could just raise them right there. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Alright, let's help him out. So he doesn't screw this up. Alright, claim Wycombe. Um, can choose you, sir. Yeah, yeah, alright. Who has Wycombe? Oh, that old dude. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, offer to join war. He's gonna say yeah. And then we'll just... I think it'll just make us the main person. Yeah. Right, alright. Pretty sure he approves. Alright, so let's go ahead. Hey, he's running now. He said the hell of this. Let's raise them. And then we'll raise his men over here. And that's all we're gonna need. We won't get there in time, but we're just gonna go that way. You know what? We'll wait because he might stop. And he probably could take them with no morale. We lost our realm thing. Let's just win the war again. At least get prestige. Alright. Bring them down. I don't think anybody should join, even though we took over. Dragon Egg was removed. What? Huh? What happened to your dragon egg? Did you give it to somebody? He doesn't have- well, he has brothers and shit. Somebody take it from him? He probably gave it to somebody, who cares? Alright. Hopefully our flagship will be done here shortly. It's not done yet. Uh, my king, for too long, Leona Stark has occupied my rifle seat. And I will stop at nothing to take it from her. I humbly ask you to provide me with coins so that I may hire an army to achieve this. If you do, I promise will not be forgotten. See, this would almost serve our interests, but we would be put into a non-aggression pack with them. Which I don't want. <laughs> because that's the whole point. I don't want to have to have any kind of truce or pack. It'd be cool to kind of like muss, muss up the... Uh, stuff here but I don't know hmm he's 27 and if he wins that's gonna suck but he could kill her and not win he has no kids uh, non-aggression pack does it make us an ally though you know what no sorry you have to go about it your own way I know it'd be so much better if the case wasn't, you know, we having to, uh, be in, you know, not be in a truce or something, but what can we do? Alright, um, let's see, who we're gonna put on the other side? I'll put Arthur. Um, yeah, we'll put Arthur. Alright. Go down and beat them real quick. We need a new bodyguard first. Um, nobody's really that good, so let's we'll leave that open. We got a lot of spots we can give out to people. Um, you're not a commander. I guess we'll give it to you. We do need a king's justice. We'll let our brother do it. He doesn't really have a job. He just sits around not doing nothing. Uh, we'll give you one because we need you to like us a little more. Um, you, I don't know why yours drops so low, and then you, alright, there you go, at least sworn sword open, we'll stop after this, young Marianne seems to be a real explorer and experimenter, is constantly finding new ideas and topics to fascinate her, alright, so she can either get patient or diligent, patient gives you one in almost everything, diligent gives you one in everything, so, rather be diligent, Alright, 
He wants me to take his other daughter, Arwen Stout. That's fine. Oh. Well, he took back one of the Wycombe things, so there goes the war goal. Alright, we've had disturbing news from Deepwood. Another atrocity committed by your bastard son, Lord Megger. Apparently, Lady Adira bore him a stillborn child, which triggered a terrible rage. He ordered all the midwives and wet nurses, as well as all their family, to be put in a dungeon and severely questioned. It is reported that none survived the horrific torture. He is truly mad. Uh, what are you doing, dude? It's not their fault. He's like Magor Targaryen. <clears throat> he's having all these stillborns and now he's blaming everybody else. Alright. Alright, we know you're the best reinforcing marshal we've ever had. <laughs> he gets, I get that event like every month. Alright, they formed an alliance. It's fine. Blackwood Turnbridge Vacillation War. Alright, Blackwood's going ham down here. Who is... Oh, he's... Oh, I think... Is he part of it? Yeah. There's still little, uh, lords down here that aren't, uh, bass lords. Where is River Run at? Are they still, yeah, they're still, uh, see, but they got so many men for being a one, uh, thing lord because they can have, like, 7,000 men. As our enemies scurries, as the enemy scurries away from the battlefield of Wycombe like frightened rabbits, you wipe the sweat off your brow and watch in silence. It's hard fought melee, and you are in the thick of it, personally leading your men to victory. Not only you won this battle, but also a great deal of respect. So, gain some prestige. The war is won. Let's go ahead and just get out of this. So, we gain another county down here. Alright, we'll go ahead and just stop here, stop these, right, and we will pick up from here the next time we take up arms. So, until then, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.